Let's get salty! Everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video and the Ma in Disorder mini set has been unleashed upon the Hearthstone world and well, are we in the perfect meta? As Martian Boo has stated here, we got three both Ram Shields on the board in Wild because of the Jailer. The Jailer is the biggest new card unleashed upon the Hearthstone world and well, is it breaking the game? We'll talk about that and the general meta impressions after the first day of the mini set launch, as well as a huge update to the shop. There are tons of things you can buy mostly with Rune Stones we'll talk about it my frustrations with it as well as the positives with it and as well as all the new stuff added with the patch including a lot of new bugs achievements and even that secret achievement that well we'll talk about that in a little bit so before we get into all of that though i want to announce our giveaway winners these four people here will all receive a golden mini set out of my pocket we are celebrating 58,000 subscribers thank you to everyone who entered we'll be doing an even bigger and better giveaway at 59k on our road to 60,000. so thank you all for your continued support. Hopefully we'll hit those goals soon. Give you guys some more stuff. So hit that sub button, make me go bro. But it just, it really means a lot that I can give just something back to you all for being so amazing to me. So is the Jailer breaking Hearthstone? I saw a lot of screenshots like this. This is, uh, again, Martian's little mirror match. And I also saw on Reddit, we got Jailer J Druid versus Jailer Malganis Warlock. It's a lot about Jailer day one. We even saw, we even saw Bunny Hopper get rank one legend in standard with the jailer and paladin i'll show you the list it is one pile of jank with uh cards like reno jackson the countess in a well in a jailer deck all because well you, you could tutor out and order things with order in the court and then well your jailer deletes your deck and your countess is uh active and all that probably harsh bait from a high legend player but just thought i'd highlight that at least one deck hit rank one with it saw tons of takes about the jailer including this one from luna and it's saying Jailer is the worst card of the expansion. Send tweeting. I don't know about that. But overall, my first early impressions of the Jailer definitely not breaking the game. Seems to be okay in certain classes, but mostly, you know, people are experimenting. It's really early on. One card, at least in Wild, that makes me worry about the Jailer is Tome Tampering. The ability to basically play that with a Malkazar Zimp and get it for one mana very early can be pretty darn frustrating. But overall, for a 10 mana card that you really got to work for, I think it's been a suitable kind of pay off for it it'll be interesting to see how it develops looking through the mini set cards though i gotta say I've, i felt pretty underwhelmed by the initial impression of a lot of them the main standouts being the paladin cards the class action lawyer order in the court by far the card that's impressed me the most has been shade hounded both standard and wild this card has been absolutely incredible and will likely be showing up in tomorrow's video where we'll highlight five of the best decks to play in standard or wild that video is coming just need to see a little bit more data but overall first impressions of the meta very similar not a ton has changed and well hunter got a boost that it so desperately needed if you look at those hs replay numbers right they uh yeah well, well i think hunter might be getting dialed back sooner than later those are my impressions of the meta but the other biggest update honestly was to the shop as you can tell here there are some mercenary bundles when you log in you'll be able to purchase if you want to the new mini set either regular which you have to use either rune stones or gold or the golden version which you either use rune stones or a lot of cash there's also a new portrait bundle which has reno in it as well as a brand portrait I, I just gotta i gotta highlight this this reno portrait is absolutely ridiculous just look at this animation reno versus jana you asked for it time to get cooking but as you note, it's in this bundle. And I quote retweeted here uh, a tweet from Celestial, one of the devs, kind of justifying rune stones that allow us to offer smaller products for sale, like individual BG skins or emotes. However, we get this bundle, which you can't buy separately. We get a portrait bundle for Battlegrounds as well. You can't buy these portraits separately. Also, the same goes for Mercenaries content. They're justifying rune stones that it's better for the player because we can buy stuff individually, yet almost nothing is offered individually other than these two battlegrounds items are offered for 500 runestones each that is it they're doing this whole bundle thing where you have to buy things you don't want and spend more as this comment really states it very well i want exactly one of these skins because they're bundled i will now get none of these skins it's as if they don't want my money so it sure seems like they're not really sticking to their word about separate runestone items other than the very niche thing besides those items added though and besides the merc stuff here you'll note that there are now golden packs you can buy for every standard expansion not wild 
but for every standard one, so you look at Golden Murder at Castle Nathria, you can buy them for either runestones or money. You cannot buy them with gold. I also added the Golden Packs rules to the official Blizzard site, basically stating that a Golden Legendary should be in 20 packs on average. I don't know if there's a pity timer because it never explicitly states. It's like Merc Packs. They don't actually have a pity timer, which I found out today, by the way, opening 120 packs that farmed in tasks. I opened two Legendaries. Just never spend money on Mercenaries. Please don't. I haven't spent anything since the pre-orders and just, just, just avoid that like the plague, trust me. But the one thing here is that one Golden Legendary is guaranteed within the first 10 packs of a new expansion then subsequent golden legendary card drops will follow the above rule. What that means is basically the first 10 packs you open from golden packs, you will get a legendary, a golden legendary guaranteed. And uh, wouldn't you know, they offer you 11 and not 10. How convenient. Personally, I haven't spent a dime on these golden packs. I buy the bundles and these are just egregiously priced in my opinion. 30 golden packs goes for $125 Canadian. Not even I will whale it up that much. But if you feel so inclined, there's a golden pack for every standard expansion. If you've missed out on any of the mini sets they're also all in the shop right now you can purchase them either golden or regular but if you buy them normal you can get them with gold so if you missed out on them they're pretty decent value definitely worth a look and as with every mini set they have added new achievements to the gameplay category where you can earn xp as you can see here we were working on some of these already on stream but i will note they also added a new mystery achievement this is one of those diabolical achievements from celestalon where you get a free card back for completing it and yes as you see i have completed it and there will be a video guide later today and i will say right away it's the shortest and easiest one they've done to date so at least if you want to do it it won't take your whole afternoon and lastly we have the bugs and the bug fixes and hey the journal it doesn't have the exclamation mark so that's pretty sweet they also fix the solo adventure content as christo5 says here you can actually play some black rock mountain so you've been locked out of solo content you can actually play it now but then there's the bugs of course and well early on in the day as bunny hopper here found out a uh, theotard stopped working for a little bit this afternoon basically with hero cards if you picked a hero card to steal it outright wouldn't do anything and it would crash the game to your opponent but this has since been fixed there also appears to be queue issues in duels with players facing the same person over and over sometimes three times in a row which is just not a pleasant experience whatsoever this has even led to team america a content creator who covers duels and all that that the mini set introduced the ability to requeue into the same person in duels one thing to queue into a high roll deck or horrible matchup but twice or thrice in a row is just super tilting and i will probably take a break till it's fixed so that really sucks we also discovered a cool bug where if you have a quest up it counts as a secret basically and contract conjurers is for some reason discounted we take a look at the known issues tab for this patch in battlegrounds the atar's parasol quest reward has been temporarily disabled it was found to crash in certain situations the battlegrounds reward track does not open the latest page to claim rewards the fix for this issue is coming in the next patch and also you couldn't open mercenary packs for a while because Garona was not even showing up in the packs and also in mercenary mercenary have lost their max abilities for some reason if you max out a merc it got plus one plus five it's lost it no idea why and i don't know if this is still happening but for certain mobile users on amazon storefront uh hearthstone still hasn't updated other than that not nothing too crazy for bugs nothing too game breaking so yeah the meta seems a little bit different a lot of the same the jailer seems to be not breaking the game tons of new stuff to buy unfortunately mostly with runestones and yeah lots of bugs but thankfully nothing too game breaking so that's my day one patch review later today we'll have that mystery achievement guide as well as tomorrow i will have some decks to recommend to get that legend climb done if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day stay salty my friends <laughs>